Is protein overload a concern on the carnivore diet? Will your kidneys be able to handle all the protein that you will be consuming with the carnivore diet? And who should not do the carnivore diet? So to answer your question, if your kidneys are fine and you don't suffer from kidney failure um, beyond stage 3 kidney failure, with other words, if you have more than 30% kidney function left, Dr. Jason Fung, who is one of my doctors, he's a kidney specialist on my blog, says that you can absolutely do the carnivore diet if you have more than 30% kidney function left. With other words, if you have, even if you have stage 3 kidney failure, you can still do the carnivore diet. When you have stage 4 kidney failure, then you should be very careful of how much protein you are consuming. Um, that is the one thing. Um, the other thing is I've got videos on my blog where my doctors talk about kidney health. It's video uh, 69, 70 and 71 on my blog. If you click the photo profile, you'll find my blog link, carnivoreway.blogspot.com. And Dr. Barry specifically talks about how you can um, eat in such a way that you can actually protect your kidneys. So let's look at the things that will destroy your kidneys. It is not protein that you are consuming. Although, as I said, if you are, have very little kidney function left, you should be mindful of eating too much protein. The things that will um, destroy your kidneys is hypertension. Hypertension destroys the membrane on the kidneys. And another thing that will destroy kidneys is diabetes. Sugar diabetes will absolutely destroy your kidneys. So that's why diabetics, if they don't look after themselves, in the end suffer from kidney failure. Of course, with the carnivore diet, we are reversing type 2 diabetes and we are making type 1 diabetes much better. We are reducing insulin use by 65%. See the testimonial playlist on my YouTube channel where I interviewed people who reversed their type 2 diabetes, who are no longer taking any medication, who also reversed their hypertension. So let's talk about hypertension. If you um, have insulin resistance, insulin resistance upregulates salt retention on the kidneys and there is one of the causes of hypertension. So we are reversing insulin resistance and thus the kidneys start to function better. Dr. Barry also talks about the proper human diet. If you look at how ancestrally we ate, um, we ate a lot of protein, animal protein, not plant protein. Uh, if you look at animals, animals that we hunted, uh, animals that we farmed with, of course, is uh, uh, mostly fat and protein, animal protein. Um, there's, there are very little carbohydrates in animal meat, although there might be trace amounts. Um, in dairy, for instance, you, you do find some carbohydrates, but, but very little. Uh, but mostly you have protein and fat. Uh, only protein and fat are essential for a human being to survive. There are no essential carbohydrates. With other words, you cannot point me to any carbohydrate or any nutrient found in a plant that my body absolutely essentially needs but I can only find it in a plant. Um, so in other words, what I say is all the nutrients that my body needs are found within animal products and I include eggs with it as well. There are nutrients in, in plants that you won't find in animals, but they are not essential. Let's talk again about protein. Uh, let's talk about plant protein versus animal protein. Plant protein is not equal to animal protein. 
plant pro protein is very complex and it's tied up in fiber and plant hormones and plant defense mechanisms like lectins and oxalates and polyphenols and many other plant hormones, chemicals that are there to resist insects. Um, so, the, it's, so plant protein is problematic in that way. Uh, you cannot say that, uh, let's say, 200 grams of plant protein is equal to 200 grams of um, animal protein. It's not does not work that way at all because it's not bio. The, the plant protein is not bioavailable. It's not nutrient dense. It's very complex and the body has to um, break it down. And there's a lot of processes that the body has to do uh, to in order to utilize the protein. So our bodies cons uh, uh, have a function that can convert protein to glucose. Um, my body if my body needs glucose, my body can produce glucose, even though I'm not consuming carbohydrates. My body can convert protein to glucose by the process of gluconeogenesis. So, no, you will not have a um, protein overload on your kidneys if your kidneys are still working fine, if you do the carnivore diet. So, as always, discuss the, um, the diet with your doctor. Um, I always say this in every video because if you are on medication, for instance, um, like hypertension medication or type 2 diabetes medication, you, your body will start to heal itself and your insulin resistance will go away. And so your blood glucose will uh, go down and your hypertension will go away and your medicine will be too strong. That's why we say discuss it with your doctor and let him help you to reduce medicines as see fit. Um, I've got a video that I've pinned on the top of my YouTube channel. It's video Q0, the one video, where I explain everything about the carnivore diet. I also have uh, 90 or 69 frequently asked questions. Uh, this is now question number 70 uh, about uh, protein overload on the kidneys. Um, that I will put on the Frequently Asked Question playlist on my YouTube channel and on my TikTok channel as well as on my blog carnivoreway.blogspot.com Thank you for the question.